Hi everyone, welcome to What's For Dinner. My name is Gordo and this is my dad. Hello. He's a chef and restaurant owner for more than 20 years and he's here to teach us how to cook simple Chinese dishes at home. And today, we're making Mapo Tofu. Mapo Tofu is a spicy tofu dish that packs a lot of flavor and can be a delicious vegetarian friendly dish. The history of Mapo Tofu goes all the way back to 1862 during the Qing Dynasty that uses a common staple, tofu, with a delicious spicy sauce that goes amazing with rice. To get started, you will need cornstarch, chopped cilantro, peas and carrots, green onion, chopped garlic, tofu, sugar, chicken flavoring, which is optional, dark soy sauce, pepper, and fermented chili black bean paste. Man, that's a mouthful. All right, let's get to prepping. To prep the tofu, we're going to cut around the ends of the top wrapper and then go to your sink and drain all the water that's inside. Okay guys, come back. We got a show to do. Then you're going to take out the big block of tofu out and cut it sideways in half. Then put them side by side and cut it into strips and then back on top. Once they're stacked, slide it sideways and then cut it diagonally. Diagonally? English is weird. After that, you can put it all into a bowl. Then, get one or two mushrooms we forgot to put in the ingredient shot and slice it into pieces and you're done prepping. To start cooking, get a pan and fill it with water and bring it up to a boil. Once the water is boiling, put your tofu and your peas and carrots in. And after about two minutes, add in your mushrooms. Then you're gonna mix it around and let it simmer for another three minutes and it should be cooked. Take the tofu, peas, carrots, and mushrooms out and then drain the water and pat the pan dry. Then you're going to turn up the gas and once the pan is hot, add a dash of oil in there. Then add in your chopped garlic and stir it around for about 30 seconds till it's fragrant and then add a bit of water in there. Then you're going to add in about 2 teaspoons of the fermented chili black bean paste in there. And you can add more depending on your spice level of course and then start mixing it all around. Then you're going to add 1 spoon of dark soy sauce, a small spoon of chicken flavoring, and two small spoons of sugar in there and let the flavors party it up in there. Then you're going to get a small bowl and add a spoon of cornstarch in there and some water and mix it around and then add in about three spoons of the mixture in there to thicken the sauce. Make sure to mix everything around and once the sauce is thickened up, add in your tofu, mushrooms, and peas and carrots. If your sauce still looks a little too watery, feel free to add in a bit more cornstarch mixture to thicken it up and mix everything together. Once everything looks incorporated and the sauce is glazing on the tofu, add in a dash of green onions and let it simmer for a couple more seconds and it's done! Optionally, you can also top it off with a small spoon of sesame oil to deepen the flavor. Grab a plate and pour all the good stuff in, then garnish with more green onions and chopped cilantro. Now let's get some shots at this gorgeous dish. Thank you. Bye-bye.